Throughout the 1980s, there were many incredible scores, but one terrific player scored more points in that decade than any other player of the 80s. It wasn't the great Kareem Abdul-Jabbar, it wasn't Dominique Wilkins, and it wasn't Larry Bird. The one player who scored more points in the 1980s was none other than Alex English. Some of you may be asking, Alex who? Alex English was a slim 6'7 forward with a silky smooth jump shot with a high release point that was extremely hard to defend. English played 15 seasons in the NBA from 1976 to 1991. He played for the Bucks, Pacers, Nuggets, and Mavericks, although the majority of his career and the entirety of his prime was spent playing as a Denver Nugget. English was also one of the most reliable superstars in the league throughout his career. From his sophomore season to his final year, he never missed more than four games in an NBA season. He was dependable, he was consistent, and he was lethal. During Alex's best eight-year stretch in the league from 1981 to 1989, he averaged 27.3 points, 5.4 rebounds, and 4.7 assists on 51.2% shooting. If you're not able to grasp just how remarkable these numbers are, let's observe this comparison. During Kobe Bryant's best eight-year stretch of his career from 2002 to 2010, he averaged 29 points, 5.8 rebounds, 5.3 assists on 45.3% shooting. English's points, rebounds, and assists were only slightly lower than Kobe's during their primes, but English was also much more efficient while doing his production. Now, I'm not saying that because of this, English is as great of a player as Kobe, but just the fact alone that their stats were comparable is enough to appreciate the greatness of Alex English, and this helps us begin to recognize just how criminally unrecognized this legend actually is. His greatness has gone unappreciated for several reasons. For one, Alex wasn't much of a flashy player. He wasn't very athletic, he wasn't the fastest, and he didn't have the most spectacular dunks. The reality is the guy wasn't much of a highlight machine, but he was great fundamentally with solid footwork, good shot selection, and a high offensive IQ. Despite the value of those quality attributes, it's not the type of play style that's remembered fondly and leaves an imprint on people. He was a mid-range player who shot mid-range jumper after mid-range jumper after mid-range jumper. Over the course of his career, English averaged a mere 0.1 three-point shot attempts per game. To make it clear how much English preferred the mid-range game, Alex shot 21,036 shots in his career, and a whopping 83 of those attempts were three-point shots. It was one of the most predictable and even boring offensive skill sets the league has ever seen, yet because of his length and extremely high release point, defenders couldn't stop him, even though they knew what was coming. Another reason Alex is overlooked is because, like many other legends, he didn't win a championship during his career. English led his Denver Nuggets to be contenders multiple times in the Western Conference. They at times had a pretty talented team with guys like Kelvin Knott and Lafayette Lever. With that being said, getting past Magic, Kareem and Worthy's Lakers, or Ralph Sampson and Akeem's Rockets takes an all-time great team, and the 80s Nuggets certainly weren't on that level. It's not like Alex was a flawless superstar though. He was an all-time great offensively, but he wasn't all that great as a defensive player. In fact, his entire Nuggets team was horrible defensively throughout the 80s. They were a run-and-gun team that simply tried to outscore their opponents and basically ignored the defensive side of the ball. Mike D'Antoni would be proud. At one point, statistically speaking, the Nuggets were the worst team in the league defensively for four consecutive seasons. Sure, English and the Nuggets would light up the scoreboard on a nightly basis, but so did their opponents. No game summed this up any better than their regular season game on December 13, 1983 versus the Detroit Pistons. There was absolutely no defense in this game, and the game ended in triple overtime with the Pistons defeating the Nuggets 186-184. to Even with all of that being said, English continued to be an offensive monster, and his offensive game aged extremely well. As a 36-year-old, English averaged 26.5 points, 4 rebounds, and 4.7 assists per game on 49.1% from the field, and remarkably, he played all 82 games that season. This was easily one of the greatest seasons in NBA history by a player above the age of 35. 
For his career, he scored 25,613 points, which currently puts him at 18th place on the NBA's all-time scoring list. He was remarkably efficient in getting all of those buckets as well, as he shot 50.7% from the field over his career, which is an even greater shooting percentage than the shooting percentages of Michael Jordan and LeBron James. In fact, out of all the wing players in NBA history to reach 25,000 points for their career, Alex English is the most efficient player in that group. When it comes to shot selection, skills, and fundamentals, there's a lot to learn from English's offensive game, and all of this contributes to why I see him as one of the most underrated players of NBA history. Let me know in the comments section if you think English could have won a championship if he had a stronger supporting cast. Thanks for watching as always, make sure to like and subscribe for more NBA content, and I'll see you guys in the next video.